All right, welcome back to Well Lecture City. We're going to do plane number two today, the uh, Pay the Piper, Piper Cherokee, plane two. So again, just like all the videos, it's going to be the maiden flight. You have seen the Paper Piper before, but this one is going to be the final version. This is the one that's created from the PDF plan that is now available at the website. It will be posted to the website by the time this video comes out. So here we go, flight test number one. I'm pretty sure it'll fly. After all, I did design it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trimmed out, nice and floaty, nice and glidey. Half throttle, just cruising. It's a little windy today. Does loopy loops nice? <laughs> Does rolls nice? Does rudder turns? Okay. Looks like the wings are holding too, yeah. especially in the wind like this. Yeah, well I improved the plans now so that it has three pieces of carbon fiber, 1,000 millimeter carbon fiber tubes that are uh, three millimeters around. So three millimeter carbon fiber tubes that are 1,000 millimeter lengths. And then uh, you take one piece, one full 1,000 millimeter length, and you put it in the wing. So we'll go show that right now. So, uh, but again, this is meant for, this is uh, meant for a two cell, uh, a micro jet version two or three. Right now I have the version two in here. A, uh, a two cell battery, anywhere from an 1800 milliamp to a 2600 milliamp. And a 10 by 3.8 prop with the Cessna 172 Slyhawk and the Pay the Piper Piper Cherokee. You should be running a 10 by 3.8 prop an 1800 to 2600 milliamp two cell lipo battery and a microjet version two or three and then once we move on to the next one which is going to be plane three the uh, murder in the moonlight mooney bravo that is going to be smaller lighter faster more maneuverable and so we're going to specially do that one with uh, the microjet version two or three again but this time with a three cell lipo battery and a six by four prop so uh, so you can see there this is one complete length of 1,000 millimeter, there's a 1,000 millimeter long, three millimeter carbon tube. And then you take another full length, you cut it in half, you put half of it behind it and half of it in front of it. So with the general aviation plans, it might be different when we start doing the jets, when we get into the jets, but when we're doing this, the center full length of carbon fiber spar is going to be the center of gravity. This one is a little different. I have updated the plan since then, but the center one will be moved up and then the center one will actually be the center of gravity. But right now, it's probably right about where this one is. A little bit, a little bit behind that front one. But basically, with this one, the 1800 milliamp is all the way up the front as far as you can go. So if you have a 22 milliamp in the same spot, maybe just a little bit farther back, if you got like a 25 or 26, move it just maybe a little bit farther back you know, and then test the center of gravity and see where it needs to go so the center of gravity is right. And again, the center of gravity should be one-third back from the leading edge of the wing. So right now the center of gravity is right about here with the servo's end. This one-third back 
from the leading edge of the wing. And when you're, when you're balancing your aircraft, if it's a high wing aircraft like the Cessna 102 Slyhawk, you test your gravity so it's upright. And when you have a low wing aircraft like this one, you test the center of gravity by doing it upside down. Red is always left, green is always right. Okay, so let's give this another flight. Flight <laughs> test number two. Fuse flies beautifully, just like all my designs. Very floaty, very glidey, very easy to fly. And then after this one, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, Murder in the Moonlight Mooney Bravo, which again is gonna be smaller, lighter, faster, and more maneuverable. <laughs> Left half throttle. That's full throttle. So full throttle, it's, you know, it's not bad, but it's pretty slow. You see, when you do that kind of stuff, full throttle, and you pull back real hard, the wings kind of bend a little bit. That's why I put three carbon fiber spars, so at least you don't break the wing or anything like that. It'll just flex in the wind. Awesome video. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> no, I, I'll pull up. Yeah, it was right above us. So I, I pulled up a little sooner than I usually do with that. Nice and floaty, nice and gliding, easy to land. So, plane one, Cessna 172 Slyhawk. Cut the power off, flaps on, it'll totally land itself. And then you practice landing with the flaps on and actually controlling a little bit with the elevator and ailerons, you know, if you're a true beginner. And then once you get that down, try a few landings with the flaps off. So you, so you get good at that. And then once you get to this one, there are no flaps. So you should already have, you know, learned and practiced how to land with the Cessna 172 Slyhawk. And then you come to this one and you can, you know, practice landing with this one. This one's fairly easy to land. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty slow. Very floaty, very glidey, very easy to land, very easy to fly. And then after this one, we're going to go to plane three. Again, the Mooney Bravo, Murder in the Moonlight Mooney Bravo, is going to be smaller, lighter, faster, more maneuverable, harder to fly, and harder to land. A little bit harder to land, but not too much. It is still, considering it's, it's a lot smaller and a lot lighter, it's still fairly floaty. So we're going to take baby steps moving forward. So uh, let's give it one more flight until the battery dies. Fly it till it dies. Fly it slow and make slow sweeping turns when you're a beginner. Now once you get a little more intermediate, then you can kick out the throttle. battery is starting to die. I'm going to keep it steady. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and later on. Thank you, drive through. Come again.